Trey Hill is the center at Georgia. He's a two-year starter at center. Uh, I believe he was their starting right guard the year before that. Uh, he moves people. Very effective, uh, consistent and effective on these double teams particularly. Um, just destroying guys. You can see him here get on the uh, three-tech, the hip of the three-tech, dump him on the ground. Uh, pays attention to the second level he's going to climb. Uh, he's such a big guy. Um, once he gets his hands on you uh, and gets you squared up, guys have a real hard time kind of going through him or around him. Watch him fold the guard here uh, and get this stick. And watch how he kind of works his lower body, um, his legs and his hips, kind of shoulders the defender, uh, and the back cuts it behind him. So he, he's not athletic in the way that someone like Matt Hennessy or something from Temple, but he's way more athletic. You can see uh, not much in the way of hand placement here. A lot of upper body, body strength and shouldering, but he's really working hard to lean and to turn uh, the defender here and get his hips out in front of him and square up so that the back can cut it behind him. There aren't too many examples of, of him that I've seen where he's out in space, but this is a good example of him on uh, pulling and getting on this linebacker's outside shoulder and turning him outside or inside rather the play. Something he might uh, clean up is he has a tendency or not a tendency, but on occasion you'll notice he'll, he'll uh, really duck his head, lower his eyes, get flat there, and he'll end up in this particular... Sometimes he's actually able to, uh, in spite of that, move the defender. Here he gets shed, which is uncommon. I mean, once he gets into guys, uh, they could move him a little, but it's very, very uncommon for them to get off his block. Um, so I think right here, you don't want to see him kind of duck his head under this, even though he has some success doing that uh, in general. Uh, it's the reason he gets... Um, shed on this particular play. Good example of him in pass protection. You can see him quick out of his stance. That's Derek Brown across from him. Uh, just a great, great player. Uh, Brown gets his hands inside first, but watch uh, Trey move this arm inside, kind of climb it right there. And he's very difficult to move. I mean, Der Derek Brown's, it's a bit like riding a bull here, uh, trying, trying to block this guy one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, but he's up for it. Watch him. Gets square right there. And he stays in contact with the defender there. He's able to stay in contact. Even with that, you have really, really strong, strong player across from him. Watch it again. Another example of him coming off a uh, combination, but really getting some movement. You can see just with this, this shoulder into the uh, defender, knocks him back off the ball. Climbs up onto the uh, DB here, stays on the block. Watch it again. I noticed him as, as aware, generally, um, versus any kind of stunts or twists. Watch his eyes here. And watch how he gets square in the hole uh, to help keep his uh, quarterback clean. Watch it again. Again, he's, he's able to pick up a late blitz. Watch his eyes and uh, watch his feet. A again, he's much more, I think, much more nimble than you would expect for somebody this size. Really like Trey Hill. Um, if you're a team that runs a lot of stretch, he, he may not fit you perfectly. Uh, if I'm being nitpicky, uh, he, he could be a little more consistent in space. Uh, but I think he fits the Ravens very well, um, and I, I, it wouldn't surprise me to see them target him on, him on day two.